I think this one was out of Mexico, yeah. This one had heroin in the frame. For the last eight uh, years. So that's some of the dryer sheets and stuff that were in there with the cocaine. Sergeant Randy Tooman has taken thousands of pounds of drugs off the street. And they had like 25 kilos of methamphetamine. Cars he's confiscated pack a parking lot at the Fayette County Sheriff's Department. Inside, pictures of his drug busts line the walls. It started like midway and then went down and then I, I didn't expect to keep getting so many. So now I went above and then across. But he doesn't do it all alone. This incredible canine officer is Lobos, a Belgian Melanois trained in the Czech Republic. You know, I'm still impressed how quick he is to respond to the odor and how quick he is to go straight to the source and alert. You know, that it's, it's impressive to watch him work. The pair spend several hours a day training to sharpen their skills. So what's happening here is the dope's in the, under the hood and it's dropping to the ground. So that's why he's trying to smell under the car. And that's where it's at right there. Otherwise, the duo is on the road, covering a 23-mile stretch of I-10, a major drug corridor. Two a month is about average. You know, uh, a bad month is one or none, of course, and then exceptional is, you know, if I can get four in a month, then I'm doing really well. How many times do you get four in a month? Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> That's no exaggeration. In 2016 alone, the pair scored millions in cash, cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and methamphetamine. Tuman and Lobos confiscated 130 pounds of that meth in one bust alone, winning them an award from the National Criminal Enforcement Association just last week. They've also won commendations from the state and the U.S. Congress, all the while making their superiors very proud. That's why he's so successful. You know, I think of what he does because he loves what he does. You know, and Lobos is the same way. You know, I think he loves the job, loves doing it, and and uh, that, that's why they're so good at it. But for the eight-year-old Lobos, the accolades may soon stop adding up. At recertification training last year... They, they told him up there, though, he's so much on point right now that, you know, we're going to continue on with him, but we're getting close to him retiring him. Then Lobos' only award will be his favorite toy. Tuman isn't looking forward to that day, but when it comes, he plans to keep breaking records with another partner to keep Fayette County safe. The real award for me, the reward, is actually finding the dope in the car. You know, the hours in, that I've spent training and the hours of stopping cars to actually find the car that has the dope, that's the, you know, that's the reward that I look for. In the Grange, Tina Shively, KVU News.